Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging question from Israeli Mathematical Olympiad. Given equations are log 2xy equal to log x times log y, log yz equal to log y times log z, log 2zx equal to log z times log x. Three equations are given. We have to find out real solutions. So first one I will write x positive for real solutions x should be always positive y should be always positive z should be always positive as you can see log x log y and log z is there point number one point number two the powerful property from log it is log a b can be written as log a plus log b. This is what we know and now it's time to apply. Now this log is not natural log. So base is understood 10. Everywhere log is written. So base is 10. Now I will apply this property to our equations. So I will write our equation number 1. It would be log 2 plus log x plus log y equal to log x times log y. Now I will consider substitution because I don't want to write log x log y log z again and again. So better is to consider log x equal to a log y equal to b and log z equal to c. So let me write here log x equal to a log y equal to b and log z equal to c so i will apply this our consideration so i will write our equation one as log 2 plus a plus b equal to a times b now i will take a plus b to the right so i can write a b minus a minus b equal to log 2. Now I can see from first two terms a is common. So better is to take a common. So inside the bracket I can write b minus 1. Now you can see here it is written minus b. So what I will do? I will do one algebraic manipulation. I will write minus b plus 1. Plus 1 to both sides. So log 2 plus 1. Why I have done this? Because now I will take minus 1 common. So here will be b minus 1. So it is a times b minus 1. Minus 1 is common. b minus 1 in the bracket. Now log 2 plus 1. Now b minus 1 is overall common. So it will become a minus 1 times b minus 1 equal to log 2 plus 1. So I will write a minus 1 times b minus 1 equal to log 2 plus 1. Now this one I can replace with log 10 because we know that log 10 is equal to 1. So I have replaced this 1 by log 10. Now you can see log a plus log b. So better is to write log a b 2 times 10. So this will become log 20. So our equation number 1 converted into the most simplest form. It is a minus 1 times b minus 1 equal to log 20. This is our new equation. So I will write this is our equation number 4. Now let's consider the second equation. And if you will see the third equation, it is almost equation number 1. Only variable changes are there. So we will write third equation directly. Now we will take up equation number 2, this one. So equation 2 is log yz equal to log y times log z. So we can apply the property in LHS. We will be having log y plus log z equal to log y times log z. Now log y is b. 
log z is c right hand side it would be b times c i will take all the term to rhs so i can write bc minus b minus c equal to 0 take b common so c minus 1 i can write now again same thing minus c i will add 1 to both sides so it will become b times c minus 1 take minus 1 common in bracket it would be same bracket as c minus 1 so c minus 1 is overall common so i can write b minus 1 times c minus 1 equal to 1 this equation i will call equation number 5 now let's consider the last one that would be equation number 6 but i won't solve because equation 1 we have already solved so let me write that equation directly so 4 5 this equation will be equation number 6 and equation would be c minus 1 times a minus 1 equal to log 20. now if you will see all the three equations in one go let me write so here it is equation 4 5 and 6 now you can see log 20 log 20 so if i will multiply all three so let me write here multiply 4 5 and 6 so left hand side if you will see a minus 1 it is coming out twice b minus 1 b minus 1 c minus 1 c minus 1 a minus 1 so better is to write a minus 1 b minus 1 c minus 1 whole square this complete square and right hand side if you will see it would be log 20 whole square now once i will take a square root both sides it will be a minus 1 times b minus 1 times c minus 1 this value will be plus and minus log 20 so this is our equation number 7 now what we'll do we'll divide equation 4 5 and 6 with 7 in 7 divided by 4 7 divided by 5 let me demonstrate one equation 7 divided by 4 7 divided by 4 so what we will cancel out a minus 1 b minus 1 will be over you can see it is so what will be left that is c minus 1 and what is it in the right hand side it would be plus minus log 20 divided by log 20 so i will write plus minus 1 add 1 to this equation so c will be equal to 1 plus minus 1 once i will consider plus sign then value will be 2 minus sign then value will be 0 now what is c c was our consideration log z so let me write here itself c equal to 2 and then c equal to 0 c was log z so log z equal to 2 and here i will write log z equal to 0 so z will be equal to 10 power 2 here z will be equal to 10 power 0 so z is equal to 100 and here z is equal to 1 10 power 0 is 1 so we have calculated the two final values of z similarly i will divide 7 by 5 see what will come out so let me write here 7 divided by equation number 5 so i will be having a minus 1 will be left in the lhs and in the rhs i will be writing plus minus log 20 okay done now add 1 to both sides so i will write a equal to 1 plus minus log 20 now better is to write 1 as log 10 as we all know so i will write a equal to log 10 plus minus log 20 so with plus sign i will write log 10 plus log 20 and with minus sign i will write log 10 minus log 20 now log 
a b equal to log a plus log b so now this time i will be writing here log a b so it will become 10 times 20 so 200 and this value will be log a minus log b so this value will be log a over b so i will be writing 10 over 20 which is half and what was a a was our substitution it was log x if you will check this value was log x now i will equate both the sides one by one so log x is equal to log 200 so from here we will conclude x is equal to 200 and once log x is equal to half then we can write it is log x is equal to log half so x will be equal to half so there are again two values i will write x is equal to 200 and x is equal to half for positive and negative values now i will divide 7 by equation number 6 see what will come out once i will consider then what will be left in the lhs that would be b minus 1 only and right hand side it will be plus minus 1 similar as equation number first one the first division okay now i will add 1 to both sides so b equal to 1 plus minus 1 so this will be 2 and 0 now b was log y so i will write log y equal to 2 and 0 so i can write y is equal to 10 power 2 or 10 power 1 10 power 0 value will be 1 y equal to 100 10 power 0 is 1 so we have calculated all the values only need to write in the ordered pair form so i will be writing here x y z so this value will become x value was 200 y is written here 100 and then it was 100 z second value second ordered pair i will write x value was half y and z both values are one so this is our ultimate solution for the given system of equation i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself